This is what I wanted to show you. I have a lock on there here, and I have a lock on here. I have two locks on my hitch for my trailer, but I am have taken my safety chains and I've wrapped them around my receiver and I've locked them on and I can haul this trailer off. It took me about five minutes to figure this out. I had seen it on YouTube and I wanted to check it out for myself and it does work. And this is a cheap little lock. It wouldn't take much to drive off with this thing. So I think the solution here is to make these safety chains removable as well so i'm going to make them where i can remove them and i'm going to have the two locks on at the same time all right so the two kind of locks i've got is this kind of lock here where you can push it down and there's a hole here through the latch you put the lock in there flip it over lock it in and the way it's aligned way to find there is not much here to be able to attack the lock but if you are able to cut that somehow some way or even cut this then you could lift this up the other kind of lock I've got is this Reese coupling lock yeah I know I've got a neighbor with a rooster right, you put this up in the ball hitch and lock it down you have to have the key to be able to lock this you put key in the lock and twist it to open it and then you could slide that in there and it's locked in so the way this is designed you could use both locks on here and lock it at the same time now my existing chains are attached by a welded loop here and so I've either got to cut that welded loop or I've got to cut the chains. But I'm going to do that by using my angle grinder to cut this link, chain link off right here. Now you can see what I'm left with. These are the two older chains. And these newer ones are 27 inches long. These are probably about 30 inches long. They're a few inches longer here. You can see one of the links that I cut and then I twisted it to get it to unhook. I used the vice grips to put leverage on it and twist it to unhook it. So the plan is now to use these the new chains with these hooks and these older removable hooks here to make one chain out of it for each side. After removing the old hooks from the old chain, this is what I'm left with. These two and the two links of chains. Now, some people would say you don't need these because you could loop that chain in there. Well, this gap right here won't let this chain slide in. All right, now you can see I've got the removable loop here hooked into my old chain hook. And on the other end, I've got the new chain hook. So now then this chain is removable. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. See you next time, YouTube.